This is Rod from Mount Washington Sewer and Drain Cleaning, and we're at uh, 35 Payne Street, Berlin, New Hampshire, uh, doing a sewer inspection here, and we found some issues with the pipe in the road area. I have it marked out there. I uh, got past that mark, and we're at about 66 feet with the major offset, and there's another offset back towards the, uh, almost near the grass line, but in the road. As you can see right here, there's something going on here. Almost looks like a rock or something in that pipe. Yeah, it looks like a stone. See it? Yeah. It's definitely like a rock or something inside there. So. Wow. That's out the road though, right? Yep, that's so going to be out in the road. They, they yeah, see, that. see how that water's kind of trying to come yeah, across yeah, and go down yeah. there? So there's definitely an issue there. So the city has to make their determination on uh, what they see. And I can't make that judgment for them, but they'll make that judgment. But there's well, definitely something going well, on come here. Come on, if they can't see that, Rod. No? No, oh, they'll see that. So let's go down there. A little bit, a little bit more. Yep. Bang, that's definitely a bowl. Big offset. They didn't even see the pipe. You just saw a lot of going wherever. Yeah, that looks like, definitely looks like a rock inside there. So it looks like the pipe has probably shifted the connection of the road. All right, so we're going to come back. Because this was some placement that was out there, PVC. Yep. Are they going to look at that too? Oh yeah. They're going to say that's my fault. No, this is out in the road. Oh. But you do have issues on your own property that you right. can deal but with. Right, but I want to fix their issue first. Right. See if I have to fix mine. And right here is another an offset right here. Where are you with that? That's at that mark that I put in the road. So this is the mark in the road that okay, we got this so we're all major the offset road. right here. So okay. in between the 54 feet and down to where that rock is. So it looks like uh, the replacement would have to be right here at the 54 foot mark and then uh, right where it ties into the road. Okay. And it's clay pipe. At this point, A little bit of an offset there where that water's escaping. This is going to be near the wall area, kind of. That one's not that bad. So it looks like so far near, oh, right here. What's that? See it right here, 46 feet. We got, looks like the uh, the hub is starting to pull, starting to break right here. Yeah, you see I where see there's some, some paper right there. Stuff? Yep. And you can see some cracking inside there. So that hub right there, it's under stress and it's starting to break. I don't know how long it's been like that, and it might stay like that for a long time, but it doesn't get better. No. But if you pour more water, at least you get the water through it. Right. And what are we going through here? Ooh, we got a, looks like a section of Bermaco pipe or something left in between here. Really? I wonder if this is right underneath the wall, and they left a piece of Bermaco and connected to something underneath there. Because that's just odd to have that there. Because oh, that looks like it's shoved inside there, and I have seen that before. Yeah, this looks like a piece of Bermaco. A small piece, and this might be right underneath the wall. Well, how do you fix that? Uh, you'd have to dig that up. But right now, it's still round and it's still intact. So that's that's a good sign. But just be aware of that, because Bermaco is a tick, uh, ticking time bomb. It has a life expectancy of 20 years, but the stuff is still out there. And you still find a lot of it that's bad. And every once in a while, you find it that it's still round. And that section right there is still round. How? I don't know what it is. Small victories. <laughs> I need all the help I can get with this. Well, are you coming back with this now? Is that yes. what you're doing? Yep, we're coming back from the road okay. towards your clean out. See right here, this offsets a lot more here. You can really start to see the inside of that hub. And yeah. you see how that water is pooling right there. Where is that about, you think? This is at 39 feet. So this is on the uh, other side of that this wall. Is, this is on the other side of the wall heading towards us now. See how okay. that water is pooling there? So not a lot of water is, is flowing to the road. 
a lot of this is starting to go underneath that pipe and it's going to wash that out and that's going to continue to keep dropping. Well then eventually I'm going to have to replace it. Yep. Same thing here. This is the other end of that pipe. See how it's pooling? Yeah. Right there? And it's going underneath there. So basically that part, that pipe is kind of angled down a little bit and all that water is going underneath that pipe too. And it's washing all the dirt away. Right here, some more offsetting here. So you've got a lot of water loss just from just trying to run basic water down. That's not a good thing. No. Especially if you're just flushing the toilet or whatever. It's just, it's the flush probably isn't making it all the way to the street. And then you figure between the water loss here and then what it's hitting down the end of the road, it's backing up and it's waiting to get enough head pressure that it releases itself. And so far you've been lucky that it's been releasing itself, but it will get worse. Wow, releasing itself with a mess on the fucking floor. Here. Yep, another offset here. I mean, to be honest with you, with all these offsets in here, if this, if they fix that and you continue to be plugged afterwards and you plug up solid, you're better off at that point to do it. avoid my fee to come in to open you up than to just go, I'm going to have to dig it in like a week or so, whatever. Just dig it at that point. Okay, that's fair enough. Because say he comes out and he's with a, say with a wall and say he's like, I don't know, five grand. We'll just guess because of the wall. And, uh, and then if I came out and I did everything, now you're at like 5,500 where you would have been like just at five because he's digging it. So you're just taking that money and throwing it away at that point. Mm -hmm. See this offset here is a lot more pronounced right here at 27 feet. You can really see a lot of that pooling and washing out underneath there. Not much of that water is making it past that point at all. That's all mostly going into the ground. What? Nice joint too. Fixing that fucking out to the road though ought to make it that, at least that will help stop it from plugging maybe stuff from plugging up on that part. But you the way your water loss and everything is here, you're definitely gonna want to fill that tub once a week, drain it and flush the toilet along with it. This, yeah, this this so many offsets on your property. You have a lot of water loss. Well, if they take showers here every day, I'll just tell them to close the drain till they're done. Yep. Every day going down, it'll be a lot better, right? Yep. So you can see a lot of that inside of the hub right there because a lot of movement yep. right in that part, too. And we're going to get close to. Hey, Luddy. Is it okay to take a shower? Yeah. Uh, if you, yeah. If you uh, just. Yeah, I think you're done. Wait like 10 minutes while I pull this out. No problem. Go away. Just let me know when it's good. Okay, so right now, 17 feet. We're transitioning into the cast iron. So right here is where you're exiting. We're right off your foundation and going into the clay pipe. We call that uh, joint number one. That's the first connection. Joint right number one. And now we're into the cast iron. Seems to be more going out on the ground there too though, huh? Yep, there's a little bit of loss right there too. You can see it. So basically, this, like, like I said, this, your clay pipe is like a roller coaster. So water's kicking out underneath the ground and it's not enough to make it to the road. And then you end up with a big ball of paper which catches up into that offset into down where that big boulder and where it looks like a failure at the city connection down there. But let me let me ask you something. Say say we fix that and, and we don't plug up no more. But what's gonna happen down the road if I don't fix that? It's it's, it's, it's gonna really get, gonna it's, fuck up. It's gonna get worse. You're gonna continue it's gonna get even with all the water we're gonna put down there? Yes. Because the more force you put on it, the more force it's going to put it on the dirt. Yeah, that's true. So, but you need that extra force in order to try to get that toilet paper out. So you're almost like damned if you do, damned if you don't. You're just punting the ball and hoping to, you know, get as much time as you can. Well, I'm going to start with the road because it's winter time. If, if they can get up here. Yep. And we'll go from there, and uh, maybe next year I'll have to do next summer. Do the fucking do it. Yep. 
Like I said, they got to make their determination. You're going to keep there. all these records on, so when I, if yes. I decide to do it, I just contact you. And I'm going to. Uh, your daughter called me in on that. It was on her cell phone, so I upload this as a link onto YouTube, and I'm going to send it over to her as a text. Okay. So she'll be able to see it, and if uh, the city wants to see it, they're going to want to see the video. Then I can send them over the link and everything too, and then they can see it. Okay. I got you, Rod. That's the way I was going to do it. I got to get that. I ain't doing nothing until that rule's fixed. And it's winter time anyway. I don't even know if they're going to. So I got to contact the city tomorrow, Waterworks Department? Uh, you want to call them on Monday because they're closed. Only oh, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Saturday. It's their emergency apartment department that's going to be open no, as no. of this afternoon and the weekend. You're not backed up, so it's not like an emergency or anything for them. And it all depends on their schedule and everything. I mean, at least you're running, because there'll be people that have busted sewers and stuff that are not running. And right. they just try to be, they're, they're a small crew, so they try to do as much as they can over you know an area. It's hard to be everywhere right. at once, but they will get to you. Yeah, right. Okay, that concludes the inspection. Here's the cat. <laughs>